This week sees the release of one of my most wanted indies of 2021. From the creators of Titan Souls, Death Story is an action-adventure story in a crow who reaps souls. Your assigned soul is stolen and so begins a quest in a realm untouched by death, full of twisted inhabitants and countless secrets. Played from an isometric perspective similar to Hades and Bastion, combat features melee weapons, arrows and magic. With lots of customisable options, gorgeous graphics and an intriguing plot, Death's Door is shaping up to be another smash hit for Devolver Digital. It's out this week on the PC and also Xbox Series S and Series X. To keep up to date with all things indie gaming, please subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to get notifications so you never miss a video. Feel free to comment below on which of the featured indies most interest you, and also don't forget to click the like button if you enjoy the video, as it all helps feed the YouTube algorithm. For many, the original Samurai Gun remains one of the best couch court battlers out there. This week sees the release of its sequel in Early Access on Steam, and it improves on the first game in almost every conceivable way. This time around, there's a fully fleshed out adventure mode featuring an overworld map, countless power-ups, secrets and boss fights. The first of four worlds is available at launch. There's new versus levels which can be played with up to four people, but perhaps the feature that will please most fans of the original is the inclusion of online multiplayer for both the adventure and multiplayer modes. There are six playable samurai to try out, each with their own unique abilities, and you can even play as indie characters from Spelunky 2 and Minute. Like Samurai Gun, each character starts a level equipped with three bullets, but you can now swallow a bullet rather than firing it and use a special dash move instead. All of this adds an extra level of strategy to fights. The developers have taken what made the original so good and upped the ante in every department, and I haven't even mentioned the pixel art graphics, which are drop dead gorgeous. If you're in need of a new court brawler, I urge you to pick Samurai Gun 2 up now on Steam. We've got a future indie classic on our hands here. Chris Tales is a gorgeous indie love letter to classic JRPGs and features some intriguing time manipulation mechanics. Peer into the past, act in the present and watch as your choices dynamically change the future, all on one screen as you play. Beautifully hand-drawn 2D animations bring to life a world where your choices will change both the present and the future. With its engaging storyline, a unique turn-based battle system and more than 20 hours of gameplay, Chris Tales is a must-play. The game launches on PC and all major consoles this week. I don't know how to thank you enough. This is gonna change my life. This week's indie game collective showcase is the action platformer Fallen Knight, a game that first appeared on Apple Arcade over a year ago. I played the game when it first came out and liked the Mega Man-esque art style, but found the controls quite unwieldy and combat imprecise. I'm happy to say the new version of the game is much improved. You choose to play as either Lancelot or Galahad, the 50th descendants of the legendary knights from King Arthur's Tales. The latter story was added after the original Apple Arcade release. As Lancelot, you're able to parry and disarm enemies, allowing you to defeat levels without actually killing anyone. This isn't easy though and requires some perfect timing. Galahad, on the other hand, is able to assassinate enemies swiftly with his special move. The two characters and campaigns feel distinctly different, with Galahad's being more of a roguelite and Lancelot's more of a story-driven affair with multiple endings. To survive either campaign, you'll have to play tactically. Going in all guns or swords blazing will get you killed quickly. Carefully choose when to strike and watch for enemy tells and use your special to disarm or assassinate them. Fallen Knight has come a long way since its launch on Apple Arcade. It's a colourful action platformer that has plenty of content to keep you busy for several hours. Check it out now on the PC and all major consoles. Last Stop is a single player third person adventure set in present day London. In it you play as three separate characters whose worlds collide in the midst of a supernatural crisis. It's a video game about secret lives, the ties that bind and how magic can be found in the mundane. 
Written and developed by Variable State, creators of the award-winning Virginia, and featuring fully voiced dialogue, the game tells the three interconnected tales of the main characters. Last Stop is being published by the mighty Anna Perna Interactive, so I expect only good things from this one. It's out this week on the PC and all major consoles, including the Nintendo Switch. This is not your fault. If it's anyone's, it's mine. I think I've made a terrible mistake. If you want my help, you only have to ask. I gave up everything. Come on, Hughes, this is it. Don't you want to know what's on the other side? Surely the most impressive thing about Existences is that it's a game made entirely from visuals that were drawn on paper by the developer, Ozzy Snedden. You are an artist in the game known to the world as the Mayor, and you're planning your great creation, a tower that represents the journey of life. But you can't seem to be satisfied with any of your designs, no matter what you try. So, to gain inspiration and to seek the meanings of life and death, you set off on an artistic pilgrimage across the world. Existences is a relaxing game that you can play at your own pace. There's no enemies to speak of, no health bar, or fall damage, or time limits. So expect a peaceful pilgrimage across the colourful world of Ere. Pick this beautiful indie work of art up now on the PC via Steam. I'm always a sucker for a new action roguelite, and this week we have Tarum, a dungeon crawler come top-down shooter, where the protagonist just wants to go back to bed after waking up in a world of fantasy. Sounds familiar. Featuring gorgeous pixel art, procedure generated worlds and lots of customisable and upgradable options, this looks like my next go-to roguelite. There's a huge number of weapons available, many unique to each area, massive boss fights and even pets to aid you in your quest. Tarum is available now on the PC via Steam. And that's it for this week in Indie Gaming. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the I Love Indies channel and also hit that like button to help feed the algorithm. I'll leave you with Elder Souls, a fantastic looking boss rush game that is out July the 29th. Until the next video guys, keep loving indies.